What's up everybody, this is Mr. Random. I just did a quick video on how I switched my keyboard on my laptop from a non-lit one, I guess, to a background lighted one. And uh, I use my laptop a lot at night and I struggle trying to find the keys because I don't remember where they are, even though I should. I've been using them for a long time. But I don't have to worry about that anymore because I can see them now, so I'm gonna make a quick video. It's fun, it was exciting, yeah. Yeah, so if you need additional help, just go ahead and join the Discord. I have a Discord. I'll put the link in the description on the bottom. You can talk with me or just watch me play games. Or if you need help with anything or any of my videos, just go there. So, yeah. Alright, this video, y'all, I'm going to show you how I am going to fix or upgrade my keyboard. I'm upgrading my keyboard because this one's not lit up. So here are the two keyboards. Here's the old one, obviously, because it's dirty as fuck. And here's the replacement. Now I bet you're wondering, oh, the motherfuckers look the same, right? Well, yeah, they do. <laughs> the only difference is, well, besides the cables, the old one, here's the old one. It's got three cables. The replacement has got four motherfucking cables. As you can see. <laughs> right there. There's the hard drive. Old school hard drive. screw there, a screw there, a fucking screw there, and a screw over here. Fuck. There's four connections here on the motherboard. Keyboard, 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 light. My keyboard now doesn't have this, and there's nothing connected to it because it doesn't have light. Does that make sense? Yes? Okay. Love you, bye. Gently raise these up. We disconnect these ribbon cables. Okay. So... Brown on the left. Brown on the left. Blue in the middle, a little blue in the middle, big blue on the... After we remove those ribbon cables, we're gonna pop the... Uh, the side uh, bezel I guess if you want to call it the one that goes all around the keyboard this little plastic there's a little plastic bezel if you want to call it that you want to be careful not to insert any whatever fucking tool you're using don't insert it all the way because you're gonna hit you're gonna go under a fucking keyboard under a key and then you're gonna pop that pitch out. So don't rush it, don't force it. This is kind of like taking off a scab that's still kind of stuck to your skin and it hurts. And you're pulling on it really, really slowly, trying to like break it off really, really slow. It's kind of like that. Like when you're trying to take a Band-Aid and it's stuck and it hurts, but at the same time you're like, fuck it, I'm gonna remove this bitch. It's kind of like that. Gentle, gentle.
So remember the I'm gonna call these letters out so so you'll know where the screws are. There's one right next to the control key, the control key on the left side of the keyboard. There's one right above the Windows key. There's one above the control key next to the page up. There's another one right above the right below the zero key. And then there's another one right below the enter key on the right side of the keyboard. Uh, next to the numeric pad. So after you take those screws out, then you can proceed. So yeah. is after taking off all the screws I gently got a screwdriver down here fuck I know you can't see this so. I gently got a screwdriver down here and lifted it a little just enough to get my finger in there just a little bit did the same thing on this side put a screwdriver so I, I Okay, so I can do it over here. I the palm rest is here, right? This is the the fucking buttons for the mouse or whatever. The palm rest here. So I put a screwdriver, a little bit of screwdriver, put it down there, lifted it, got my finger in there. Then I did the same thing on this side, and I like gently started picking it up, picking up the keyboard, and picking it up, and then popped the bitch like a titty. Just popped it like that. Cause there's shits on the sides here that are holding it and uh that's this pretty much it <laughs> um so keyboard when you're installing the new keyboard or whatever keyboard in here there's these notches that have to go in here first and i'll show you what i mean when i on this on the old keyboard you see these notches there's like one, two, three, fucking five of them. You see them? Those have to go here first. You gotta slant this bitch in diagonally. Then, we got the cables in there. We gotta get it right, get it tight. You get it right, get it tight. Get the fucking cables in there. Then you turn the motherfucker around, make sure all four of these holes went in there. While at the same time holding the keyboard to make sure it doesn't flip over. So they did. It's a fucking plastic, goddammit. So one, two, three, cuatro. They're all four are in there. So push in. You hear that click? Well, maybe not because I'm listening to music. But you push down on the bitches. And then over here too. Watch. You hear that? There. That those tabs keep that bitch in place. Ooh, I like the. These are like springy. They're like brand new. So then, I'm gonna put the screws back in.
monkey. Fucker, I'll kill you. That's just extra paper. Hopefully I don't pry anything. Alright, so finished, everything's all good. This is my first time doing this, everything turned out great, it worked. I forgot to do an outro, so I'm sorry about that. I was just too excited. Anyways, uh comments, leave a comment, questions, leave a comment, hate, whatever, like, share and all that. I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos. Also join us on Discord if you have any questions or need help on any of this stuff. Thanks. Love you, bye.